The roe from the lumpfish is a fine delicacy appreciated for its fresh and pleasant bursts of flavor and delicate looks. The fish itself is known for its characteristic soft meat and is also eaten in many countries. Lumpfish are found from Canada in the west to the Barents Sea in the east. In Greenland, they're caught between March and June when they come into shallow waters along the coast to spawn. The fishing is carried out by local fishermen and primarily operated from small dinghies less than eight meters in length. Each fisherman owns and operates 10 to 20 gill nets that stay at the fishing ground throughout the season. The gill net is a long wall of netting that stands upright on the seabed between two marker buoys. Sometimes one end is attached to the shore. The fish is caught in the net either by the gills or entanglement. The main advantage of gill nets is that when hung tightly, they are very size selective and retain few juveniles. The fishermen sail to their nets on a daily basis, weather permitting. The net is hauled on board the boat and the fish carefully disentangled from the net and stored in a box. When the net is empty, it goes back into the water to start fishing again and the fishermen carefully cut the row out of the female fish and store it in closed barrels. When all nets are serviced, the fisherman delivers his fresh catch directly to the landing factory. Royal Greenland operates 12 factories where row is processed in season. Upon arrival at the factory, the fish and row undergo a quality check and when approved, they're registered in the company's SAP system for future traceability. The fish are then quick frozen into blocks ideal for careful transportation to markets far from Greenland. The row is taken through a cleansing process where it's first drained of excess water and tumbled to separate out the membrane and other large foreign bodies. Then it's rinsed in a strong saltwater solution, allowing the row to sink and any small impurities to float to the surface and be skimmed off. After cleansing, the row is thoroughly drained of excess water. This thorough cleansing and draining of the row is essential to ensure freshness and to keep the highest possible quality throughout the product lifetime. The row is then weighed, salted and brined with a strong saltwater solution for storage. Before finally closing the barrels, each barrel is carefully checked, labelled, topped with brine and a grate is placed on top to ensure that the row is always kept under the surface of the brine should air enter into the barrel during transportation. Samples from each batch are carefully analysed for the presence of bacteria, yeast or mould and correct salt level in the laboratory before the products leave Greenland. From Greenland, the row is transported to Royal Greenland's row processing and packaging facility in Cuxhaven, Germany. Here, the row again undergoes a quality check before it's taken to the high-risk processing area. The row is first washed in fresh water to bring the salt level down. Next, it's dyed to the color specified by the customer. Royal Greenland offers a broad selection of recipes, including natural colors and other AZO-free color solutions. Before packaging, the salt level, pH and humidity are tested in the lab to ensure product quality. The row is packed in either glass jars or airtight plastic trays on an automated packaging line. Underway, the jars are weighed, metal detected, analyzed for content of foreign bodies, and the vacuum under the lid is checked. If a jar does not fulfill all the requirements, it's automatically rejected from the line. Next, all jars are pasteurized in an autoclaving tunnel, where they're quickly heated up to 72 degrees centigrade for 35 to 100 minutes, depending on their size and cool down again to prevent any growth of bacteria during the product lifetime. Finally, the finished goods are packed on pallets ready for dispatch to consumers across the world, who will use the row for a wealth of dishes, from an elegant garnish to an authentic flavoring.